Alright, so starting with our Captain Morgans with a kettlebell or dumbbell. Here we go. Uh, so reminding yourself to lift through the foot. Don't just bring the knee up towards the chest. Lifting through the foot or rotating that upper body. Uh, and our goblet squats. Take your time in this. Hang out at the bottom. Squatting low, push the elbows into the knees, maybe you shift back and forth a few times. Then coming up. Some of us may have just gotten out of bed. You can do this against the wall where the back is supported. Let those elbows push into the thighs, pushing the knees in the direction. Toes, ugh, inchworms. Going out as far as you can. Uh, making sure that the hips do not fall below the shoulders. And coming back up. Reverse lunge reach. Grab a lightweight dumbbell if you have one. And the weight's going to be in the side of the leg that goes back. So if right leg, reverse lunge. Right hand. Oh, reaching up and over. Switch feet. Switch hands. And be conscious of what that front knee is doing. Making sure it's not collapsing in. And tear totters. If you have a small dumbbell, keep it in your hands. And let's go left leg down to start. Dumbbell overhead if the shoulders permit. Trying not to touch down. Trying to stay on that left side if you can. If you need to alternate, do so. And start your back with your captains. Thanks for showing up, folks. And just a reminder, you are rotating that upper body towards the front, bent knee sides, whatever leg is lifted. It's not bad to go to the open side, if you will. Or excuse me, to the leg that's down. Just safer for the low back to rotate to the side that's lifted. And goblet squat. Again, if you want to find a wall, put your back against the wall, slide on down, allowing the weight of the kettlebell oh, to help pry those thighs open. Or continue a goblet squat. Or just staying low, you can lift one heel off the ground and place it back down, lift the other. So we're just prying open the thighs here. And itchworms! Walking those hands out to the shirt starts to maybe shake. And then walking the hands back up. If you don't have a lot of room, 
and then walking the feet to the hands. Last one. Finding your small weight for a reverse lunge reach. Again, whatever foot goes back, that's the same side hand, a dumbbell, or maybe a can of soup. Is in. Reaching up and over. So don't just collapse on the side that you're reaching over to. Find length in both side bodies. Whatever knee goes down, I want that glute to engage. Keeping your dumbbell for teeter totters. Right leg down this time. And energy through that swing leg. Trying not to touch down if you can. Attempt to try and keep your arms in line with the ears. Dropping the shoulders away from the head. Ugh. And weight goes down. All right, this morning with our bird dog, which I think most of you know. I want you to try it with your knees off the ground. So normally we've been doing this where we come down to a six-point stance and we reach opposites in the opposite direction, palm to knee, forearm to knee, elbow to knee, and our three small circles. I want you to try this nice and slow with both knees off the ground. It's going to be fun. Uh, we have a hard plank row hold if you have a heavier pound dumbbell or a lightweight kettlebell. That's this guy right here where we're just holding in that high plank row position. Uh, our tornadoes. I want you to use your kettlebell this week. If we, I think we used it last week. Yeah. But our tornadoes. Um, Push ups. One hand on the bell, one hand off. Single leg. Bridges, single leg, and our pullover. Get a well up overhead. Let's start with our lovely little bird dog. And again, folks, thanks for being here. So come down, start with a six-point stance, two hands, two knees, two feet. And go ahead, and you're going to bring both knees off the ground. We're going to reach right hand, left heel behind you. Take your time here. And bring palm to knee, reach opposite directions. Forearm to knee, reach opposites. Elbow to knee, reach opposites. And then we have those small, <laughs> 10 small side circles. And then repeat. Palm to knee, woo, forearm, elbow, and circles. Oh man, that's a game changer. High plank row hold. Let's leave your right hand down, left hand hold, dumbbell or kettlebell. And dropping the shoulders away from the ears, reaching out the crown of the head. Both glutes are on, abdominals are lifted, both legs are straight, reaching out both heels, breathing and shaking. Try not to let that left hip hike up. And grab your kettlebell, tornadoes. Take a seat if you can. Let the feet off the ground this week. And try not to let the knees bicycle, meaning like you're pedaling a bike here. Try and keep those knees glued together, hug the inner thighs. Keeping the bow close to the body. 
Lift up out of the sternum. And push-ups. Single leg. One hand on the belt, one hand off the belt. So the hand that's on the belt, opposite leg is lifted. Oh, lovely fun. Side shuffle over. If you don't want to do single leg, don't.
And folks, if you can't do single leg, don't worry about it. You don't. Up top, give me an extra little squeeze, maybe even engage pelvic floor. Pushing that right foot into the ground. And your pullovers. Trying to get that low back to maintain contact with the floor. Bells over the chest. And please make sure your hands are wrapped securely around the base of the horns. Dig your heels into the ground and pull your heels towards your hips without actually moving them. Engage those hamstrings. Try and keep the ribs knit together. All right. Find a drink of water. kettlebell here with our uh, base rotations. Um, we're actually doing this guy and then we're turning 90 degrees on my call. You decide which way you turn. Please just go if you go two right, go two left or one right, run left. I don't care. Uh, then we have our standing wraps. Um, Might be a little bit more awkward with the uh, colored bells, the ones that have a larger diameter, but it's still possible. Uh, but just please be sure when you do these wraps, actually let's go kneeling this week. Yeah, so if you need to find something soft or a yoga mat or something to put underneath your knees, let's get that right now. AKA squishies. Charlie's Princess Pads, which I will use every time. Why not? Okay. And then we're gonna go single arm swings. Now, yeah, we'll stick to 30. Because Lord knows I can't count and talk and work out at the same time. All right, so starting with our bounce, keeping the bell or dumbbell close to your chest. And just quick little hops here. Quick, 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 quick. Here we go, folks. Begin. Oh, and turn. 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 All right, I forgot about our little squat where we're wrapping the bell around the body. Uh, let's just do that standing for just a moment. So feet hip width apart and just get comfortable with wrapping the bell around the body here. And switch your directions. And bring those feet together, squat down a little lower and go around the shins. Switch directions. And kneeling wraps. Both knees down. Take your time getting this around the body. Make sure the handoff is complete. Bringing that bell outside the face. Maybe above the shoulder to catch. So, feet are dorsiflexed, meaning toes are in the mat. If you don't want to do this kneeling, you do this standing. Make sure whatever side is catching it, that lat is on, so that elbow is hugging towards the ribs. Where are we? Oh, swings, kettlebell 
swings. Single arm. I will switch you halfway through. Reminding yourself to stand up tall, legs lock out up top, wrist is high in the inner thigh. Yeah. Let your bow down for just a second. So we're back to bouncing. Here we go. some water. All right, first one. We're going to combine these two uh, with a reverse lunge, single leg hinge. So whatever side that the weight is in, that's the side that you are going to reverse lunge, come up to standing, single leg hinge. Next, we're going to have our squat. If you have two bells at home or two weights, they don't even have to be the same, same size. Add a, a dumbbell to one side for your uh, squat, both in the rack position. So I'm going to use a dumbbell and a kettlebell. And then we're going to turn that into our overhead press. If you want to try your heavier weight and give me a push press, do so. If you have a lighter weight and you're comfortable with it, it's just going to be a dead military overhead press. Then our rows. Uh, options. If you have a coffee table, a windowsill, a bench, and you want to do your three-point bent-over rows, you can go there. 
Otherwise, we're going to try and remember to mix it up between our lunge row and our two-point bent over row. And we have a chest press. Two-point chest press. So start with reverse lunge, single leg hinge. So let's start with our left side down first. So weight is going to be in the left hand, or meaning left leg reverse lunge. How I don't know. Hold on. No, left leg down. No. So left leg down. Sorry. Bell's going to be in the right hand, right leg reverse lunge, single leg hinge. We'll get this, folks, or I'll get this sometime. Here we go. Right leg reverse lunge, single leg hinge. So thumbless grip if you can. When that right knee goes down, I want you to think about right glute coming on. Going right into your single leg hinge after. Squat. So find another weight, put it in that left hand. Maybe uh, your dumbbell. Both in the rack position. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you stand. If you want, give us that extra little hop at the bottom of your squat. Weight in the left hand goes down. Right hand, overhead press. So if you want to grab your head of your kettlebell and you want to do a push press, do so. Just try not to let the kettlebell come crashing down on the shoulder. That you, as much as you can, pull that kettlebell down from the ceiling. Squeeze those glutes here. Where's your foundation? And your row. Right hand keeps the bell for the row. Let's lunge for rounds one and two. So right leg goes back, left forearm, left thigh. Rowing towards the hip. Try to straighten that right leg as much as you can. And just know that your left Forearm is only supported that I'm not resting all of my weight on that left thigh. Floor on your back. Right hand, supine, chest press. And let your feet somewhere between fully extended and half bent. Take the heels into the ground. Reaching those first two knuckles towards the ceiling. Last five. And bell's gonna be in your left hand. Left leg. Reverse lunge, single leg hinge. So left knee goes back, come up to standing, try not to touch down, single leg hinge. And watch the front knee. Ooh. Our squat is on board next. So find a weight, second weight for that right hand. Both weights, rest position. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you extend. Hop. 
I don't care how low you go, as long as we're not tilting so far forward with the chest. Hops. And left side, overhead press. Or if you're grabbing your heavier bell, maybe you do a push press. You can make a fist through that right hand. It doesn't have to be clenched the entire time. But maybe it's like your fire starter, folks. Wait, space press. And row. Left leg back, right forearm, right thigh, left hand row. Thumb was grip, elbow rising towards the ceiling. Left leg is straight. Lift your quad towards your hamstring. Squeeze that left glute. And three. On your back, left arm pressed to the ceiling. And feet are halfway out. Heels digging into the floor. And those first two knuckles race towards the ceiling. Going down to where the elbow or the upper arm touches the ground, and then press back up. So when the left hand is pressing, think about what those right lower abdominals are doing. And back to the beginning. Right hand, right leg, reverse lunge, single leg hitch. Back knee goes down, squeeze that back loop, come up to standing, single leg hinge. Now want energy through that swing leg. So think about that right hamstring lifting towards the ceiling on your hinge. And your squat. Find your second weight, both weights rack position. Feet are pointed out to your discretion. Knees track them. Tracking toes two through five. Pausing for just a second at the bottom of your squat. Overhead press. Or push press. Uh, is my arm in line with my ear? Or is it slightly forward? Again, energy through that other hand. All right, and our row. So you can do a lunge row if you want. Otherwise, let's have some a two-point bent over row. Again, thumb must grip. Feet may be a little bit closer together than hip width apart, up to you. But think about pulling the belly button towards the spine. Standing out through the crown of the head, the sternum. I keep my open hand on my abdominals to make sure that I am engaging here, or you can make that fist out to the side. And chest press on your back. Inhale, 
you lower. Exhale as you press towards the ceiling. Now I want you to think more of like the pinky side, the heel of the hand that's helping you to press that bell up. Thinking about that going down the posterior side of the arm all the way to the lat. And back to the beginning, last round. Whew. Left hand bell, left leg, reverse lunge, single leg hinge. Last round, folks. Energy through that swing leg heel. So think about left hamstring lifting. Next time. Uh, squat. Find your second weight. Both bells rack position. Inhaling as you lower. Think about your knees going out on the way down and the way up. So imagine you have one of those little blue T bands around the knees. Make it stretch. And left side overhead press. Or push press. Oh, I was supposed to go. I was going to go kneeling this week and I totally forgot. Saved. So again, is my or, or my arm is pressing in line with my ear. If you are pressing and the weight is in front of you, I suggest you drop the weight and find a movement pattern that you can and so you can press in line with the ear. Uh, row, bend over, row. Or you can go into the lunge row, up to you. Try and leave the shoulders nice and square. Elbow going up towards the ceiling. And load those hamstrings here, folks. Get those hips back. Shin should be roughly vertical. And last one, chest press. On your back. Take those heels into the ground. And again, think about like your last two fingers. Ring finger and pinky and the heel of the hand helping to press that bell. We are complete. Let's stretch for just a few minutes. Let me turn my lovely timer off. Grab a quick water. Do a little chest and shoulder stretch. <sighs> so come down to your stomach. <sighs> and I want your left arm at a 90 degree. So the palm is in the mat, elbows bent. And I want your right hand to be just outside that right shoulder. Head will come to the ground and you're gonna push your, left, your right hand into the ground. And you're gonna lift, basically your, when, when right hand pushes into the ground, that right shoulder is gonna come off the ground. I want you to try and leave your left chest on the floor or left shoulder towards the floor. You maybe feel 
feeling a stretch in your, hopefully, left chest, left shoulder. If this hurts, back out. And then release, come on down. We're gonna stay on that same side. And push. You can leave the head come off the ground if you want. You can leave it on the ground. But I want you pushing right shoulder towards the left. Whew. And come on down, we'll switch sides. Right elbow, 90 degrees, palm down. Ugh. Left hand, just outside left shoulder. And push, left hand into the ground. Bringing left chest and shoulder off the ground. And play with this. What's it feel like if I lift my head off the ground with this? What's it feel like if I keep my head on the ground? So keeping the right forearm, right hand, right elbow on the ground. Come back, rest for a moment. And then press. And press yourself up off the floor. And come into a, a low lunge. So right leg is going to go back. Left leg's going to sit. Right hand is going to come to the inside of your left foot. Left hand is going to open up towards the ceiling. And just play the shifting of the hips here. Like small little shift left and right. Hopefully you're feeling a nice little stretch in the outside of that left hip. And let the back of the left hand reach even past the midline of the body. Open up that torso. You can then allow that left knee to go out to the left side. And you'll switch. Uh, switch legs. Switch hands. So, left hand, the inside of right foot. Left leg is straight. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. And then maybe you reach that right hand even behind you. Maybe you even look up with it or towards it. And again, shift slightly through the hips. Trying to get into that right. Outer glute. And unwind. Go ahead and lie on your back. Left ankle over right knee. Nice little figure four. And release your hands behind your right thigh. Use mainly your right bicep to pull that right knee towards the chest. Left elbow is going to push into left thigh. Oh, it's going to feel lovely. If you want, you can interlace your hands on the right shin. Up to you. Drop your shoulders away from the ears. Left elbow pushes left thigh away. You want to make sure you're protecting the knee and you would dorsiflex that left foot. And gently let that entire figure four shift over to the right about two inches without falling over. Then release the hands, keep the legs. And now let that left foot come all the way to the floor. So it's on the right side of your body. And just hang out here for a moment. Breathe into those left ribs, left abdominals. And take your right hand, put it on that left thigh, and gently coax it away from you. Trying to maintain contact with left foot to the floor. While right hand is pushing into your left thigh, right knee is going to come up towards the chest. So you're going to move that left foot. 
up just a little bit towards the chest. And then right hand, again, will continue to push into that right thigh. Hopefully you're feeling a stretch in that left outer glute, maybe even into the abdominals a little bit. And, oh, bring your figure four back to the midline. Whew, and switch sides. Right ankle, left knee. Interlace the hands behind that left hamstring. <sighs> Bicep, so pull that left knee towards the chest. Right elbow pushes into, or maybe nudges. Right thigh, Ooh, away from the body. Mm. And gently, just about two inches, let that figure four shift over to the left side body without tipping over. Woo. Release the hands, keep the legs. Watch me go up to a T. Let that figure four shift over to the left side body until right foot is flat on the ground. Hang out. And notice what's happening in that right hip, maybe even your right abdominals, gut area. Left hand coaxes, right thigh away from the body. Breathe into those right ribs. Now, left knee is going to help bring right foot in the direction of the head. So your figure four comes up, maybe only like a smidge towards the head. Left hand pushes into left thigh. And bring your figure four back to the midline. Uncross the legs. Make a little star pose, smile, and say, I did it. I showed up today. Way to go, folks. And thanks for playing. Until next time, see y'all.